Time Warm Wayfarer is the brand new aggressive frame solar scout rifle that came with Echoes. This weapon is craftable and obtainable through the seasonal activity. I'm going to be honest, I was really not looking forward to making a video on this weapon because I do not like this weapon. I hate the sight on it. I used it that weekend trials where everyone was talking about it and how amazing it was. I tried it there and I absolutely hated it and I just didn't have fun with it. And I think it's because I was trying to use it in trials. I normally don't do my reviews in trials because trials is just more competitive whenever I have to play because it's about winning. And when I use weapons like this I'm not typically used to, it definitely makes it more difficult. So I have used this weapon in a 6v6 scenario, which you can see by all the footage that is in the background. And I tried out quite a few rules. So I tried out keep away for extra range, wasn't feeling it. Tried heal clip, which wasn't feeling it. Tried dual loader to get those three shots in, it wasn't really doing anything crazy for me. Didn't even try to the pain. Shoot to loot adds an additional five range if you enhance it. And then we have strategist, which is what I settled on. And we'll talk about why in just a second. Uh, we have snapshot sites in the final column along with high ground. Eye of the Storm, Opening Shot, Precision Instrument, Incandescent, and Desperate Measures. If I was using this thing in PvE, I would definitely go Heal Clip with Don't Desperate Measures or Heal Clip Incandescent. Uh, precision Instrument is typically what I like on these weapons. I like using the Prophet that came out last season. I enjoyed that weapon a lot. And then this one was completely different because it's so much clunkier. Um, I did try Opening Shot. It doesn't really do anything. I don't know why oh Opening Shot would even be on a scout rifle it's weird because i would already have so much range uh eye of the storm typically not going to come in handy just because if i'm that weak with a scout rifle i'm probably in close combat and i've probably already lost that fight and then snapshot who cares high ground that's the big one that everyone talked about big surprise that that's the one that i am settling on the reason that i'm using strategist high ground is because you can run that with radiant dodge on hunter so you can dodge become radiant and two tap someone in the head with high ground now the one thing about high ground is you'll notice in some of this footage i am above enemies and it just doesn't proc it just does 92. You'll see that I have high ground times 2, I don't have times 3, and I'm not doing more damage to the player, and it's incredibly, incredibly annoying. Uh, that is the only time that this weapon has failed me, now that I've used it on long range maps and 6s. It's fun, I don't recommend it for trials, um, but you go Radiant, get a 2 tap, and every kill you get, because you have strategists, you're going to get 10% of your Radiant dodge back. So it's incredibly good, I enjoy it. I will continue to use it on maps like Bannerfall and Midtown and probably Disjunction if I ever see that map again, and of course the brand new Multiplex. As far as your barrel and mag go, do whatever you want. I'm personally going fluted just for more handling, and then for my masterwork I'm going stability, and I'll probably just go range for my mag. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and if you did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new, consider subscribing, it would really help me out, and comment down below what you think about this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever it may be.